Just Cause is an action-adventure video game set in an open-world environment. It is developed by Swedish developer Avalanche Studios and published by Eidos Interactive, and is the first game in the Just Cause series. It was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and Xbox 360. The area explored during the game is described as being over 250,000 acres, 1,012 square kilometers, 391 square miles in size, with 21 story missions and over 300 side missions to complete. As of the 23rd of April 2009, it has sold more than 1 million copies. A sequel to the game developed by Avalanche Studios, published by Eidos Interactive and distributed by Square Enix, titled Just Cause 2, was released on the 23rd of March 2010. Just Cause 3 was revealed on the 11th of November 2014 and released on the 1st of December 2015. Just Cause 4 was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on December 4, 2018. From October 2018, five weeks before the Just Cause 4 release, Just Cause was made backwards compatible with Xbox One, as a result making it available for the first time on the Xbox Marketplace, 12 years since its initial release. Besides Microsoft Windows, this makes it the only other platform where all the Just Cause franchise can be owned. Topic. Plot Just Cause begins with Rico Rodriguez, an operative for an organization known as the Agency, being dropped into a Caribbean tropical island called San Espirito, after being called there by his commanding officer, Tom Sheldon, to help overthrow San Espirito's dictator, Salvador Mendoza, whom the Agency believes to be in possession of weapons of mass destruction. After his arrival, Rico meets up with Sheldon and fellow agent Maria Kane, and they ally themselves with a guerrilla group staging a rebellion against the regime and the Rioja drug cartel, another enemy of the government. Rico assists them in their civil war against Mendoza's corrupt officials, Black Hand mercenaries and the Montano cartel. Rico can also assist in the liberation of various territories to further destabilize the government's rule over the island. Eventually, Sheldon discovers that Mendoza does, indeed, have control of WMDs, and with San Espirito so politically unstable and with the guerrillas having the upper hand, the president is forced to retreat to his private presidential island just off the mainland. Sheldon and Kane fly Rico to the island to kill Mendoza, but he attempts to escape via jet. However, Rico boards the jet and kills Mendoza and his remaining bodyguards, ending his reign over the islands. Gameplay The core gameplay consists of elements of a third-person shooter and a driving game, with a large, open-world environment in which to move. On foot, the player's character is capable of walking, swimming, and jumping, as well as utilizing weapons and basic hand-to-hand -hand combat. Players can take control of a variety of vehicles, including cars, boats, fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, and motorcycles. Players can also perform stunts with their cars in which they can stand on the roof and jump to another car, or choose to open their parachute while still in motion on the roof. Other key features of the game include skydiving, base jumping, and parasailing by latching onto a moving car or boat while one's parachute is deployed. The open, nonlinear environment allows players to explore and choose how they wish to play the game. Although storyline missions are necessary to progress through the game, players can complete them at their own leisure. When not taking on a storyline mission, players can free roam. However, doing so can attract unwanted and potentially fatal attention from the authorities. The player can also partake in a variety of optional side missions, for example, liberating a village or taking over a drug cartel hideout. These are necessary to gain points with certain factions. Reception. The PC version of Just Cause received generally favorable reviews, while the rest of the console versions received average reviews, according to the review aggregation website Metacritic.
In Japan, where the Xbox 360 version was ported for release under the name Just Cause, Viva Revolution, Just Cause, Jasutoko Zu Biba Riboryu Shan Jasuto Kozu Biba Riboryushin, and published by Electronic Arts on 8 November 2007, Famitsu gave it a score of 31 out of 40, while Famitsu Xbox 360 gave it a score of 17, 18, 19, and 18 for a total of 32 out of 40. IGN noted that the gameplay of the same console version lacked depth and that the side quests are boring and repetitive. The game suffers from its share of bug-related issues though, as noted by many reviewers, who felt the game may have been rushed to market without sufficient time to fix certain problems. The PlayStation 2 version, in particular, suffers from a number of game-killing bugs that render certain missions impossible to complete, or the entire game unplayable until it is reset. Eidos had not released a patch for the PC or Xbox 360 versions of the game. The Times gave the game all five stars and said, Fans of the Nintendo SNES Classic Pilotwings will literally jump at the chance to parachute from any of the aircraft for spectacular views of the vast landscape below. There is bound to be a sequel, because this original is so good. Edge gave the Xbox 360 version 7 out of 10 and said, for all its quirks, the overriding impression of Just Cause is favorable. There's an almost childish enthusiasm at work here, and an unparalleled sense of freedom that can be enjoyed just as easily as it can be criticized." However, 411 Mania gave the same console version 6.5 out of 10 and called it, "...a fun game but only a must-own by a wide stretch of the imagination." The Sydney Morning Herald gave the game three stars out of five and said, Sloppy vehicle handling, some bugs in the design of the missions and the endless travel means it doesn't hit the same high notes as Grand Theft Auto and others, but the mindless action is still good dumb fun. The Xbox 360 version stayed on top of the Xbox 360 sales chart in the UK for three weeks in a row. 